So hey everyone, welcome back to the another video of Ingenious Academy. And in this video, we are going to talk about the another new topic which is related to the flow of the fluid, which is nothing but the velocity gradient. But before going to today's topic, I request you to please consider subscribing to my educational channel. And uh, guys, please uh, hit the bell icon beside the subscribe button. And whenever I upload a new video, you'll get a notification, instant notification. And guys, please like my videos. Your like will really motivate me to make more of such educational content in a simpler format, basically. So guys, without wasting any time, let's begin with our today's topic that is of the velocity gradient. So guys, velocity. So whenever I talk about velocity, so velocity is nothing but the entity which related to the moving object. So over here in fluid dynamics, the moving object is nothing but the flow of fluid or the flow of the gases or else the gases can be the fluids also. So over here, this uh, velocity is related to the flow of the uh, gases or the flow of the liquids through, through what? Through a pipe it can be the flow from a duct as well the flow of from a different cross section it can be circular cross section it can be rectangular cross section of it or else it can be the varying cross section also so it can be of the flow through the pipe or else the flow through the like through the two plates basically the over here the one plate is the fixed plate and the second plate is the moving plate so the the this particular velocity gradient is the term which related to the flow of the fluids from different cross-sectional area. So guys, let us take one example over here. There are two plates having the thickness T. The first plate is like the stationary plate and the second plate which is at the distance H from the fixed plate and the second plate is in the motion basically. So the second plate is in the motion and it is, uh, it is moving like to uh, moving further so that's why and between those two plates there is a fluid let's say water is flowing between those two plates that is the one is the fixed plate and the, on the other hand the opposite side the second one that plate is like it is in motion and it is moving forward so also like the water is flowing uh, between these two plates basically so guys <coughs> the water is flowing through that plate and the this particular like the distance is of h basically so over here the surface of the water which is in contact with the moving plate will have high high velocity whereas and let's say this particular water flow is like a lamina flow it means like the all the adjacent layers the flow is in layer basically and the, these layers do not cross each other so that's why this is the laminar flow over here so guys let's say the surface of the water which is in contact with the moving plate which will have the higher velocity and thus just below that layer of the water which ha will have a certain amount of the less velocity than that of the higher one so below that the another layer will also have lower velocity below that another layer will also have low velocity so guys over here you can see that this is the actual representation such as if we cut that particular like the cross-sectional area so over here this is like the the you know the topmost layer of the water which is in contact with the moving plate will have more velocity and the you know the rest of the layers okay will have the you know where the velocity comes on decreasing over here so that guys over here you can see that this is the like the curve gets formed like the velocity is decreasing as the distance from the topmost plate decreasing so that's why over here this is the curve gets formed over here so this is nothing but the velocity gradient basically and the layer of water which is in contact with the bottom plate that is the bottom fixed plate will have the you know the minimum amount of velocity so this is nothing but the velocity gradient and this velocity gradient is very much useful for determination of the different types of the flow and which is have the di uh, different types of the fluid flows basically so this can be very for like for the viscous fluids for newtonian fluids non newtonian fluids so guys as as the you know as the viscosity of the particular fluid gets changes you know this particular curve also gets changed so this is nothing but the 
uh, velocity gradient so guys i hope you understand this particular simple terminology between the velocity gradient so guys thank you for watching my video i hope you like my video so if you like my video please give me a like and guys don't forget to subscribe to my education channel engineers academy so thank you so much for watching this video guys